And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it. Isaiah 2 verse 2 Welcome to the audio ministry of Mountain Top Prayer Global Assembly with Evangelist I.G. Newman, a man anointed of God to put an end to satanic activities via his global prayer outreach. God bless you as you listen and pray. Psalm 4 verse 20 My glory David was calling and charging his glory there are people here, your family glory has been down. That's why the team says, restoring your family destinies and glory. And I am standing here to declare, if they had extinguished your glory, the glory of your family, today I command the glory to awake again. Hey, hey. Are you there? Psalm 4 verse 20 Psalm Oh sorry Psalm 4 verse 2 Can you take that verse 2 O ye sons of men uh -huh. How long will ye turn my glory into shame Which people turn the glory into shame Sons of men Completeness the reading how long will ye love vanity and seek after lazy? I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, anytime you see a family glory come up and all of a sudden disappears, he said, Yo, you sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? It is men that turns people's glory into shame. And Paraventure you are here and somebody tampered with something somewhere and made it that your family name will not be remembered. You heard one of the sisters crying here when they do want to do her traditional marriage. He wanted to use a family, a popular family name as address for the tradition and for the people coming for the tradition marriage. He said, no, 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 no. Let me use my father's name. And people that are supposed to attend the traditional marriage could not identify their family why people don't know them but eventually you are here you make reference point with people's building to locate your house after today is changing now if you say that in and well it is changing it is changing it is changing you will be the one that we use for reference point. You will be the one that we use for reference point. If you shout that and I shout it seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> the beauty of every glory is in the manifestation. If you carry glory, people look to see your result. You don't just carry glory without manifestation. And that's why today, if you are here representing your family, are you with me? You are here representing your family, you are here representing your home. Today, I stand here to declare I receive. those things your family have not seen in the past 10 years is coming to manifestation in your hand it's coming to manifestation in your hand it's coming to manifestation in your hand lift your hand and shout hallelujah when glory does not manifest so many things will go wrong mockery shame rejection you discover that when the glory is not manifest, and these things I'm talking now manifest, mockery, shame, insult, rejection. I remember I visited when I had one program in the cathedral of uh, my home cathedral uh, place. There was a family that was begging me to that that I I do visit quite alright, 
and the family nearer to them. Don't consider them. There was a time I, come, I came into the family. They said, let them go and invite them. Let us pray together. None of them showed up. But suddenly, I visited the family. We prayed with them. That was just like the other one that happened there. <laughs> in Numbi said that, that time. But this one, when I finished praying for them, doors, boom. Marriage is boom. Sons, bankers, things change. They now made an inquiry, said, there is one man of God they call A.J. Newman. Let us go and invite him. They told him, they now told him, look, we invited him. He came here. He comes to our place every December. And we invited you when he came and you say you don't have time. That was when they start looking for me. I said, to me, I know you come. Because number one, when Jesus passed through Jericho, it was only once. <laughs> Did he pass through Jericho again? They mocked them, but when their glory came, they become center of attraction. Somebody here before the end of February, you will become a center of attraction. Amen. If that your amen is louder, receive it now. Amen. Receive it now. Amen. Receive it now. Amen. Receive it now. Say my glory. Is a command. David cried, My glory awake. The moment your glory awakes today, things around you begins to change. And you know the power and the strength is in the glory. When glory is, when power is, where you see the glory of God manifesting, you see the hand of God at work. So many of us are walking and there is no reflection of the glory upon their life. And there is no reflection of God's power in their life. People don't see God. People don't see favor. All they see in your life is problem. All they talk about you is trouble. All they talk about your family is every day, every calamity. If there is any bad news, they mention your family. If there is any bad anything, they mention your family. There is no way you hear them mention good things about your family. But I come to announce to someone it is ending here today. Amen. Oh my God, I say it is ending here today. Amen. It's ending here today. Amen. It's ending here today. Amen. And any agent of Satan that locked your family and locked the glory of your family. If you will stand up and shout fire, that glory must be restored. Amen. If you will shout that fire, your glory will be restored. If you shout that glory, your family will be restored. Your family 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 be restored. When the people of Israel left Egypt, what was leading them? It was the glory. And that was why Moses said, We will not live here, only you go with us. And the Lord said, my glory will go with you. If the glory of the Lord goes with you, there is no amount of demonic attack. If they like, let them gather all the native doctors in the world. If they gather, the Bible says, because they didn't gather for me, they must surely scatter. Anyone that is seated here and there are people that gathered against you for the purpose of the rising of this glory, I declare, let us scatter. Amen. 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 Call your name, IG Newman. Rebel. Let your glory manifest. Your glory manifest. IG Newman. My glory. My glory. Awake. Awake. Wake up. You know, someone that is here, when your friends see you at the end of this month, they will ask you, Where did you go? 
because something must happen now they will ask you where did you go Amen. who did this thing for you hey, hey. can you show me where you did it uh -huh. and i am here to announce you will you will not bring shame rather you will bring glory hey, you will not bring mockery rather you will bring favor hey, you will not bring shame neither you will bring promotion hey, anyone that says that amen well receive it double hey, and now this brings me to a quick storm where did they keep your family glory there are people their glories are hacked when you hear that people something is hijacked it means someone took it off how can someone use somebody's star the boy suffered until the boy died. It was on the day they buried him. His master came and said, hey, your glory, that your star that I collected, I give it back to you now. When he was already in the grave. But when he was alive, the man was busy using the star. Using his destiny. Anyone holding your glory. Fire. Anywhere they locked it up or tied it. Fire. If I count three, if you will shut fire, they must release it now. Amen. One, two, three, go. Fire. in Lagos, in Port Harcourt, in Kanu, in Kaduna, they will not just suddenly know, know what happened. And then before you know it, things begin to work. Just doors begin to open. Because something is going to happen now in the realm of the spirit. I told you yesterday that it is the spirit that controls the physical. If you do something here now, something will be triggered in the realm of the spirit before god distance is not a barrier and that's why he say ask of the outermost parts of the earth and i shall give it to you as an inheritance please anywhere you are and you discover quite all right that you are not who you think you are the, what you dream is not what you are seeing what you worry for your life is not what you are seeing before i drop this mic now i command the glory of your life to begin to manifest now i command it to begin to manifest now let it begin to manifest now let it begin to manifest now let it begin to manifest now what is the glory the glory is the fullness of grace and truth in your life. It is the colorful destiny, just like the coat of Joseph, the coat of many color. That is your glory. It is your honor and your dignity, just like Psalm 8 verse 5 say. What is glory? Glory is the beauty of God in you. What is glory? Glory is the original divine deposit in your life. What is glory? Glory simply means, and I declare it again, it is your unique distinguishing quality. Nobody has what you carry. What is glory? Is glory simply means, sets you apart. That thing makes you unique. Every other person can come and sing, but when you pick mic, everything changes. Everybody can say Psalm 23, but when you read Psalm 23, your voice becomes unique thing that makes you unique and different from others that is your glory what is your glory is that peculiarity in you what is your glory what makes you stand out that thing that makes you exceptional like others what is your glory it is the presence of god in your personal life what is your glory your glory is the majesty and the magnificence of god in you and anybody here 
whose glory have been tampered. I lift my finger up and I declare, let that glory be restored. 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 What is this glory? It is the special manifestation of God's power. What is this glory? It is the seal of God in your life. What is this glory? The glory protects you. It is a divine aura. It is a divine aura upon someone's life. It is your virtue. What is this glory? The glory is what you dream or what draws favor to you. What is the glory? The glory is that thing that makes people like you. It is that thing that is peculiar in you that makes people love you and comes glory to you. When do your glory need revival? Like what we are saying. What happened to your glory? Number one. When you discover you have fallen from grace to grass. You were someone that seeks God. You love the things of God. And all of a sudden, the desire for God disappear. Anytime they talk about God, you don't like it anymore. You need the restoration of your glory. Number two. Glory has been tampered. When the glory has been tampered, it simply means it's no longer you. You discover that that particular you that is in you is no longer you. All you are talking about is failure. All you are talking about is suicide. I am finished. There is no hope again. There is no joy again. When you discover there is nothing that gives you joy in this life anymore. When you discover there is nothing that entices you again in this life. You discover that your glory has been tampered. And what is hungry is just to leave this world. But I am here to announce to you. The world must see your glory. Amen. The first person that he said that amen. Oh yeah let me hear you. Amen. When you discover that your glory has been buried. There are people their glory have been buried. Someone else is using your glory to shine. When you discover that somebody has buried your glory. How can you see that little boy we are talking about in the morning. How can it just be that he, he was serving somebody. And in the class he was taking first. And they carried the child and went to a place to make inquiry. And they said this child is a great child. Because his life has been first, first, first. Only just one touch on him. Kiram. The boy's brain went off. Somebody has tampered. With his glory. When somebody has stolen the glory. And they have kept him. The young man is suffering with. The young child is suffering without knowing. Anybody here. Suffering from what you don't know about. Laboring like Jackie. Eating like ants. And somebody somewhere siphoning you. If now God sent me, and I know, say God sent me. Before the end of this February, your glory will shine. Amen. 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 Some people started building and all of a sudden they stopped at later level. It's a sign that the glory has been buried and the glory has been tampered. When someone else is using your glory, there are people that are using people's glory. And that's why each time I talk about it, that some people sold their glory because of handsets, some sold because of sex, some sold because of money. Because they are looking for money, they just dash their body out and then somebody took what belongs to them pay them money they collected money and they left with their glory is my prayer for everyone here looking at me and all of you that are following us online if they catch your glory IG new man is calling your glory hey. if they buried your glory I told you yet the mountain top is a place where spirits glory of God manifests I command your glory to come out hey. if you are not manifesting your glory today I put your glory to work hey. If you are not manifesting your dignity, I put your glory to work. Amen. If you are not manifesting your purpose, I put your glory to work. Amen. If you are not manifesting your glory, I put your glory to work. Amen. 
some of you looking at me here today should have been people giving people 10 million, 10 billion. But today you are begging for 5,000. Who collected and tampered with your glory? Who collected your star? Who turned your family upside down? Fire. Who made your father's house as if there is nobody there? Fire. Who is the person that exchanged your family glory? Fire. Who is the person that exchanged your family star? Fire. I stand here and I declare they are restoring it now. Amen. They are restoring it now. Amen. They are restoring it now. Amen. Lift your two hands and shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. You lift your two hands and shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say my glory. My glory. Come on. My family glory. My family glory. Come on. Come on. Shine. 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 How will this glory work? How will you take it back? You can't take it in any way except in the place of prayer. Everybody say prayer. Prayer. Everybody just listen to me. Everybody say prayer. Prayer. If you discover that things are not working the way it's supposed to be, don't move around and complain. All you need to do, go on your knees and begin to connect heaven. The only person that has the right password to your glory is God, who created you and packaged your assignment on earth. Go on your knees, stand on your two legs, and then begin to connect heaven. Catholic Peter book said, God governs the world, but prayer governs God. With prayer, you change. With prayer, you move. Around. Imagine God sentenced Hezekiah to death. Sentenced Hezekiah and said, Hezekiah, dead. Hey! And the prophet came and prophesied it. When Hezekiah heard it, he said, How can he now turn his face to the wall and say, Kaluri Kabashak Tataka, Ikuri Karate Kekaka. Baba God, remember my promise. Remember your promise. Remember my tithe. Remember my seed. Remember my sacrifice. Remember the church where they go. Ah, ah, Baba, I know Grio. The Bible said, when Hezekiah turned to the wall, it kabashed. Because his life was in danger. And suddenly the Bible said, Isaiah have not even left the court. The Lord said to him, go back. Go back. Shakata. Somebody here in the place of prayer. And look at this, you know. Go if God changed his own Bye. case ah. concerning his judgment. I don't know who made the judgment over your head. If God can reverse his own judgment, any witchcraft or native doctor or cultic man judgment on you, today I command it to be reversed. Let it reverse. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. If the native doctor touch the ground and say you will not succeed, I hit the ground and say you will succeed. If the person that did it sweared and say you will not succeed, me too, I lift my hand and say you will succeed. If the person who made it concluded by saying we remove the shoe on their leg, and make that course today i pull my own out on this same altar i stand with my leg pull my own shoe out and i declare you will succeed you will succeed you will carry your children you will prosper you will make it your glory will shine you will shine! You will shine! You will shine! You will shine! You will complete the house! You will complete the marriage! You will complete the job! I prophesy! If they rise against you, they will die! Now, if you call your glory to shine, 
I now back you up. And I say from now. Let your glory shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. You will make your family proud. Amen. You will make your family happy. Amen. You will remove that mockery and make it celebration. Amen. In the place of prayer, Hezekiah changed it. When you go into the place of prayer, there is nothing impossible. It is not time to complain. When you enter into the place of prayer, you begin to agonize. Even if you don't know what to say, speak it in tongues. Yeah. Pray it in tongues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can agonize it. In the place of prayer. Yes. In First Chronicle chapter 4, we heard the story of a man called uh, Jabez. Jabez. He was born in pain. And the cause and consequence of it was on him. We didn't know what caused the pain. But they only told us that the mother gave birth to him in and gave him the name pain and then when he grew he discovered there is a limit over his life he didn't go around and be looking for people to pity him brothers and sisters you don't need pity party you didn't don't need pity friend all you need is friends that will fire you people that will build you Jesus never met friends who begin to pity people when they come to their problem. When it comes to every problem, it tear the problem, scatter the problem, and release the people from their problem. That's what Jesus does. You don't need that's why anytime he comes where people died, he will call the mourners and say to them, Walk out. Walk the mourners out. He came the other day on the white road to the rain, and the son, the only son of a widow, was going to be buried. Immediately he touched the bearers. He said to the woman, weep not. Cry no more. When he said weep not, people were saying, what does this man mean? Somebody is crying and you are telling her, no weep not. It's because I have the power. <laughs> the source of your life is from him. He knows what to touch and what to do. And your story changed. But what he need from you is he need your closeness. You need to make sure you dwell in his presence. Meet him in the place of prayer. Don't complain. Kabash in his presence. You have your battle of midnight. Ragada kupa shakata. Ikalaba ragada dukara. Rianda da 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 da. Babu said, and Jabez called on God of Israel. And he said to him, Lord, that you, first of all, enlarge my ghosts. He prayed for enlightenment of his coast. And after praying, he said, Oh Lord. He said, let your hand be upon me. And I said, let it not grieve me. He said, keep me away from evil. And after making the declaration, look at the way he said it. Saying, Oh Lord, thou will bless me indeed. He demanded the blessing. He didn't just say bless me. He said, bless me indeed. There is difference between bless me and bless me indeed. They are two different thing are you with me he was not just saying bless me he needed the one indeed and the bible said when he declared oh lord bless me indeed the next thing that follows was what what did next did he say that followed it enlarge because when god blesses you he expands you how can god bless you cockroach rat where they your house they bump picking and you are not giving birth hey! How can it be that lizard running around your house? All of them are giving birth and you can't give birth. Jabez looked at it and said, enlarge me. Somebody here today must be enlarged. Amen. You didn't shout that amen well. Amen. When he declared enlarge me, the next thing he said was what? What was the next thing he said? What the, the person on the, on the camera, what did he say there? Immediately he said, enlarge me. He now declared, I think the next thing he said was, let your hand enlarge my coast and let your hand be with me. Are you seeing it? When the hand of God be with a man, he gives you divine speed. Those who were ahead of you before you will overtake them. And the next thing that happened is, he said, that thou will keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And then the Bible said, anger. God granted him that which he requested. <laughs> he will grant you which what you request today. Amen. 
if that's your amen is louder you will receive the answer amen. this same man called Jabez in chapter 2 verse 58 built a city and they call it the city of Jabez he owned an estate and the Bible said and all the tribe of Judah gathers to have their meeting you know they know they carry meeting go to a poor man's house in the village Judah they meet in Abonyobiam now, they know the carry town's meeting. Go put for a poor man's house. They carry town's meeting to the man's house. That even when they come meeting, he go fit bring the egg, bring coconut, or bring uh, all of them, because that one is not from the purse of the meeting. It is the man hosting the meeting. At least, if somebody is looking for water, they will say, "Go to the fridge and bring water." Poor man's house. They know the carry meeting. Go. Every waterway there, there are burrow. <laughs> Even if they have one, it's a rural randa. Is it that from the pot? But a rich man, they move the meeting to his house because he has something. Right now, I want to pray for you. If you learn to pray, please, brothers and sisters, learn to approach me to the place of prayer. And as you approach me to the place of prayer, the atmosphere over your head changes and turns around are you with me i prophesy over 100 people's head today I before the month of february will end your glory will manifest hey, hey. finally if you are here and you have lost the strength of prayer or you have lost the hunger of prayer before you reach house you are so tired before you reach house they be saying, oh God, ha, let me just manage and reach. The spirit of weakness has been projected against you. Do you know when your prayer life is weak, the devil will be planning when to strike. All you need now is for the fire, for the glory. Now when you move, have you ever enter, came to uh, been in, in a taxi and somebody come to enter the taxi and see you and say, Kai, I'm not going to enter. There is something that person saw. It happened to me several times. He said, come and enter now. He said, me, I'm not going to enter. There is something that person saw. When you carry such glory, it doesn't matter where they did the charm. It can't stand. I can't tell you more but I will tell you that I have enjoyed that glory several times I told you sometime when I travel with my wife to Gumbi and then on our way it, 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 an agent of Satan came to stop us on the way and then while we were on a speed a cow came into the middle of the road the driver that was driving us tried to dodge another cow came and sat at the center the next thing the driver has to do is to swim the car into the bush. Some assaulted the first one. The second one, he went on running in the bush. Dust covered everywhere. The car stopped. People were rushing and following us inside the bush to come and rescue. But when they came, I came out, my wife came out, the person that was driving us came out, and we're moving around the car, we're shouting, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Ah, all of them stood from far, say, Kai, soon I blood of Jesus, man. Ha ha. I soon I delay. We left from that place, from Damboa Road, before then, we, we, before we could get to Pew. On getting to Pew, it was dark. I've shared the, that, the story before. And then, they were waiting for us in Gombe. The program was supposed to start by 6 and close by 8 on arrival in Gombe. Because the parish in that St. James Catholic Church sent the parish car to come and pick us. 10 o'clock, they have not seen us. It was a few minutes after 10. We arrived in Gombe. Immediately, the crowd were waiting. They saw us. They shout. They were all screaming with joy. But they saw the car battered. It was that moment I just stood up and climbed the stage and took microphone and shot fire. Nobody today they shot this fire. 
Immediately I stood and shake and shout, fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody was shouting, shouting, fire, jubilating. That was when one lady in the midst of the people walked to me and gave me a slap. Wow, wow. He said to me, so you later come here. I hate you. I hate you. I love you. I love you. Hey! 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 She started confessing how she wanted to use that cow to destroy everything, not to destroy us before arriving from there. But when you carry the glory, <laughs> glory, glory, I want us to pray. I want you to carry this thing and walk out. Your glory manifest. I want us to carry this glory. <laughs> ah, when you carry this glory, fear not the devil. I've shared this with you before. The interest of those who have not heard. A man of God aborted, aborted flight from Canada and they were returning to America. And then suddenly, halfway on the midway on the, on the journey, the, the pilot told them, look, we are in trouble. Everybody should pray that what we are seeing here, we can't go back, we can't continue, but we'll just be moving. Anywhere we land, everybody in the aircraft started shouting and screaming. Hey! Everybody was screaming and shouting. One man asked the cabin crew, can I have some chips? Uh, when others are praying, he said, can I have chips? And they went, well, they brought chips for him. He said, can I get, have some drinks? They brought him drinks. He said, can I smoke? A man was chewing the chips, taking drink. The person close to him said, are you mad? They said, we are perishing and you are busy eating and drinking. <laughs> the man laughed and said, there is something I know which you don't know. Yeah. He said, what you know? He said, don't disturb my peace. He kept on the craft. We do boom. He would say, Jesus. Hey, people are praying and crying. The man was busy taking his chips and taking his drink. He said, crew, can you have more? They will go and bring. He kept taking. And then the young man beside him said, please, what is it that you know? Which I don't know. I want to know. It's okay, let me tell you. Look into the front cabin of that aircraft. There is a man wearing red suit there. That man is the man of God they call... Uh, what was his name? Billy Graham. Billy Graham. He said, that man cannot be in this plane. And it will crash. He said, if the plane won't crash, I will just go close to him and hold a trouser. Because this kind of people know they die anyhow. Through through the plane landed well. The man went to him and said, "Through." He said, "This kind of people cannot be here, and this thing will happen over somebody here now." I declare your glory to manifest. Hey, hey, hey. Say the glory of my land. The glory of my life. Arise! Arise! Manifest! Manifest! Open your mouth and pray, 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 pray. command that glory. Arise! Manifest! Manifest! In the name of Jesus! Arise! Your eyes closed, you will speak to yourself. You will command your glory anywhere they trapped it. Anywhere they buried your glory. You, I will just give you two, three minutes. We are done with this prayer. Anywhere they buried your glory. The glory of your family. Where they buried your father's family. Where are your brothers and your sisters? I want you to cry out. Appear in your father's house. And land in your father's compound. Appear. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Why will your family be under mockery? Why will they continue to mock your family? Why will they continue to mock your father's house? Why will they continue to mock your family? Why will they continue to mock over your family and your glory? Everybody say the glory of my father's house. The glory of my father's house. Anywhere they buried you. Come on! Oh yeah, begin to command your glory.
glory to come out. Come out. Pray. Pray. Command it to come. Somebody pray. Yes, now. Let it come. Your glory. Your glory. Let it come out. Let it come out. Oh, yeah, begin to bring it out. Bring out. Bring it out. Bring the glory out. Somebody's bringing it out. Bring that glory out. Bring the glory of your father's house. I bring you out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Come on, it's a come out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Appear there. 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 Bring the glory out. Your family out. Bring 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 your family out. Hey. Somebody pray where we Pray where we Pray where we Collect your glory. Collect your glory. Your father's house. Your family house. Your brothers and sisters. Let them come out. Let them begin to shine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody's collecting. Somebody like collecting. Like jewelry. Like cowry. Somebody's collecting. Your glory. Your star. Your family. Somebody collect. Collect. Appear there. She got that car, Nina. I can't be a Nina. She got that car. She got that glory. Oh, yeah, gather them. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, appear there. Look at it. Carry it. Carry it. Carry it. The glory of your father's house. Collect it. Collect it. Take it now. Take it now. Yeah. Somebody's collecting. 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 Oh yeah, carry them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. 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 Make sure you collect. Make sure you collect. Don't stop. Make sure you collect it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Make sure you collect it. Somebody's not praying. Somebody's not serious. Somebody's not serious. Oh yeah, others are serious. Oh yeah, carry your own. 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 Somebody's collecting key. 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 Oh yeah, collect. Oh yeah, collect. Collect your wedding ring. Collect your marriage ring. Your marriage ring. Your family ring. Your wedding ring. Collect the wedding car. Collect it. Collect it. Collect it. The fruit of the womb. Oh yeah, collect. Collect the fruit of the womb. Collect the fruit of the womb. Oh yeah, collect everything for your family. Oh yeah. The weight of your family. The weight of your family. Oh yeah, collect. Oh yeah, collect. Oh yeah, collect. Oh yeah, collect. Appear there. Carry them now. Somebody shout glory. We will say you have been blessed. For additional information, contact us on 0803-447-2328 or 0701-366-2328. 2001. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at IG Newman. For days of activities, we meet every first and third Saturdays of the month at 8 a.m. and Thursdays and Fridays before the Saturday. If a man can pray, there is a God to answer. God bless you as you come.